This video is brought to you by Craig Petronella, IT cybersecurity expert and number one Amazon best selling author. Your PC just froze. An official looking message that appears to be from Microsoft pops up and tells you to call a support number. If this scene is familiar to you, you've been witness to a scam. A compromised dad injects malicious code that hogs up all of your CPU, making it impossible, or painfully slow, if you're lucky, to do anything on your computer. Closing the warning won't fix the problem, but if you're able to launch Task Manager you can kill the malicious code in the browser. If you do opt to call the number, you'll get an ever so helpful tech who will make the problem go away. For a few hundred bucks. A hospital in the United Kingdom was forced to divert trauma patients and cancel planned operations on Wednesday after a cyber attack left their systems crippled. The National Health Services Lincolnshire and Ghoul NHS, Trust posted a major incident alert on its website indicating they were forced to shut down after a virus infected their systems on October 30th. There's no indication what type of attack the NHS are dealing with, but it's probably safe to assume that it's yet another ransomware attack on a medical facility. There's been a serious uptick in incidents of this type of infection in 2016 with several high-profile incidents of facilities like Hollywood Presbyterian Medical Center in Los Angeles, Methodist Hospital in Kentucky, and MedStar Health in Washington, D.C. So far this year there have been at least $100,000 paid in ransom to cyber criminals in order for hospitals to regain access to their systems. It's especially profitable to attack hospitals due to their reliance on computers for patient care. Medical facilities are more likely to pay since a shutdown not only affects quality of care, but can also risk lives. Fortunately by Thursday the NHS had most of their systems back up and running and were telling patients to attend their appointment as scheduled. The attack occurred at the same time UK Chancellor Philip Hammond was introducing a national cybersecurity strategy in order to combat the possibility of foreign hackers attacking the country's electrical grid or other infrastructure. The plan would spend billions on cybersecurity and create a special police force to deal with cyber threats. Three. As we get more and more accustomed to the convenience of our everyday objects having network capabilities and the Internet of Things so that we can control our lights, thermostats, baby monitors and countless other things from our phones, we sometimes forget the security risks that are associated with it. Unfortunately a security flaw was recently discovered that allows hackers to use household devices in order to gain access to your smartphone to steal photos and track your every move. The flaw was found in Belkin's Wemo home automation devices. The way it works is a hacker looks for an object like a DVR that is connected to a network. Once they have access to the network, they scan for devices that are connected through the Wemo Android app. From there they just hacked the app to gain access to a victim's phone. To the credit, Belkin fixed the flaw in the app back in August and it is releasing a firmware update to fix the vulnerabilities in devices that use it. Unfortunately, that update is not automatic and will require users to update their devices manually. While there is no indication that the flaw has been exploited by criminals, it's an important one to patch as it not only gives hackers full access to a victim's phone, it also gives them the ability to block owners from updating firmware or removing malware from their devices. At that point their only recourse would be to throw them away. According to a recent study conducted by the College of Healthcare Information Management Executives CHIME, and the Association for Executives in Healthcare Information Security EHIS, the top security concern IT executives in the healthcare industry are ransomware and malware attacks. Additionally the survey pointed to social engineering, internal threats, and data theft as the top threats face.
faced by healthcare security experts, with ransomware and malware being the most common way these weaknesses are exploited. Ironically, 65% of people respondents had little or no confidence that legislators had enough of an understanding of web security to enact policy to deal with it, but at the same time healthcare needs federal agencies to do a better job with threat assessment and information sharing. Since smaller organizations have different security needs than larger ones, more than half of respondents felt the government should develop techniques tailored to those needs. Along with additional information sharing, respondents stated that the government should enact policy that encourages sharing and rewards organizations that help improve web security across the industry. Whenever there's a big data dump, the security experts at Aetna jump on it and use analytics to scan and identify any credentials that are the same as those of a current user. A match means there's an opportunity for hackers to take advantage of those credentials. The team immediately forces a password reset and begins the process to fix the problem. While the banking and defense industries are miles ahead of healthcare when it comes to dealing with threats from cyber criminals, Aetna's team is an example of what healthcare should be doing. This may have something to do with Jim Ralph, their chief information security officer having worked for American Express and had been the global head of application and mobile security at JP Morgan Chase. One of the things that Ralph understands about cybersecurity is how important intelligence sharing is. The healthcare industry has been slow to adopt this approach but the most effective security teams share information through groups like the National Health Information Sharing and Analysis Center, the FBI's Joint Private Sector Partnership InfraGuard, the Department of Homeland Security's Cyber Information Sharing and Collaboration Program, or the U.S. Computer Emergency Readiness Team. The key to intelligence sharing being successful is to share what you know, and to not just use one of these services. You may get different intelligence from different sources. Additionally, an organization's security team not only needs the ability to lock a network down before the whole system is compromised, being able to monitor the dark web so that it won't be blindsided is important as well. Many dark web experts come from a military background with experience in information gathering, specifically when it comes to monitoring an enemy's tactics, techniques, and procedures. It took a while for the banking and defense industries to come around with the evolving threat of cybersecurity. It appears now that the healthcare industry is poised to take that next inevitable step.